Got some more hardwoods here, right up against that thicket. The only benefit to get up in a tree here would be to get on the edge of the thicket and look down, but it's still all saplings. It's not. I was hoping there'd be an open area where it's more grass and briars where I could climb a tree and shoot down into, but it's not looking like that. I found this uh, two or three, maybe three years ago. Me and a buddy came in here in the summertime to scout. It took me this long to come back. We got the wind for it. It's the rut. There's a buck sign in here. Oaks. Seen a few acorn caps. There's acorns. Just had a lot of fresh leaves covering them up. First one popped out behind a tree. When I turned my head, she saw me, but I think we might be good unless she tries to get behind me and smell me. Just saw deer number four sneaking through the thicket straight ahead. <laughs> deer number three, I tried to get the camera on, but it disappeared into the thicket. They're working the edge. I know y'all couldn't tell, I could barely tell, but it's a little yearling buck. Come by about 20 yards. I heard them footsteps, I thought it was gonna be a big one, of course. All right, well, tomorrow's the last day to kill one. So, I will see y'all in the morning. And go sit where I did yesterday morning. That answers my question. Yeah, it's duck on.
Just had two does run by. We'll move up. Move farther up because all the deer I've been seeing, most of them have been up a ways. They like to cross up in there between thickets. Just took a good little nap. It's about 11:30 now. About five minutes after I woke up, I heard, I knew, I saw a squirrel, but I heard something that didn't sound as squirrely. And those two does come up on me, but the wind swirled. She never even saw me. She's about 20 yards, and uh, the wind swirled. She picked up her nose and turned and ran. And we're gonna change spots for the rest of the afternoon. See behind me is wide open. And then in front of me, starting to see a little bit of change here. Thickets over here. Starting to see some tall grass and stuff. Deer will tend to travel around any type of cover, even if it's just tall grass. Also, all these trees are mostly all sweet gum and poplar and stuff that does not produce food for the deer. But up along the edge of the thicket, see those big trees that still have leaves on them? Most of those are water oaks, and they are dropping acorns right now. And it's right on the edge. We definitely need to be able to shoot at least to the edge of the thicket, if not into the thicket. Okay, we got a swamp over here. So if deer are traveling through this bottom, that swamp's gonna funnel them either through here or around the other side. So we're gonna, the swamp comes to a tip, comes to a point like right there. We're gonna go past it, try to find somewhere to set so we can catch deer where the two potential travel routes come together. We're still downwind of the thicket. There's a deer blowing in the thicket. Wind is good. Blowing at something else. Well, that's it for this bonus hunt. So it's back to doe hunting now, and uh, maybe some late season Kentucky hunting for try to kill another buck. As far as locally, the does better watch out now. Anyway, I'll see y'all later.